you so much, Smiles. <laughs> All right, so how's everybody feeling? <laughs> yeah? Do you think we'll win? Yeah! Because yeah. <laughs> I believe that we will win. You guys know that one? Yeah! I believe that we will win. 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 Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Sam. Our final speaker is the author of AB 420 and an ally for students. Assembly member Roger Dickinson represents the Sacramento area. And he has been an advocate for reforming willful defiant suspensions for the past two years and an advocate for education, justice, and for many more. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Assemblymember Dickinson. Well, thank you. Thank you for that, that nice introduction. And thank you to all of you for taking the time to be here for this rally today and for this continuing effort to change our school disciplinary practices. Let's just take a moment to talk about what we know. What we know is that there are over 750,000 suspensions out of school every year in California. What we know is that that includes more than 350,000 students. What we know is that's more students suspended out of school in the course of a year than graduate. What we know is that makes no sense. What we know is that for those suspended out of school, I know it's, it, the sign says one suspension equals two times more likely to drop out, but what we know is overall that for those suspended out of school, they're actually five times more likely to drop out and 11 times more likely to end up in the juvenile justice or criminal justice system. What we know is that discipline is administered very unevenly, to put it politely. What we know is that if you're an African-American young student who's a male, you are three and a half to four times more likely to be suspended out of school than your Anglo counterpart. If you're a Latino young man, you are more like two or two and a half times more likely than your Anglo counterpart to be suspended out of school. What we know is that in some school districts, as much as 70 to 80 percent of the African American or Latino school, uh, students will be suspended out of school. Young people who look just like those standing behind me. What we know is this is not just a matter of maintaining discipline in our schools and order. We all understand the necessity of do that, doing that to create a good learning environment, but this is an issue of civil rights. Yeah. This is an issue of not denying educational opportunity to our young people. This is an issue which calls out for our attention here in Sacramento because what we also know is that while we have some school districts and some schools that have learned the lessons of the facts that I've just articulated in far too many places in California we still have arbitrary discipline imposed rather than efforts made to address the real issues that lie behind the behavior and we know that in too many instances, willful defiance, I heard you talk about just learning that term in the last few years, all too often it's used as the vehicle for imposing discipline because someone is different. Someone dresses differently. Someone talks differently. Someone didn't do their homework. Someone has a different sexual orientation or a disability, and so they can't be in the classroom, they can't be in the school. We know that's wrong. But we know one more thing as well, and that's why 
I'm so happy all of you are here today. We also know that we've got a job to do. Even as my bill moves through the legislature, we know that we have still an audience of one that we need to convince. Yeah. We know that we need to convince the governor that it's time to change the administration of discipline in our schools so it's fair and appropriate so that we keep kids in school, in a learning environment, and on the track to pursuing their dreams. Are you going to help me convince the governor that that's what we ought to be doing in our schools? And I know that together, bringing together all our experiences, those that, you, that you've had as students, those that you as parents have had, it's teachers and administrators, those of us as community members who care about making sure that our children get the chance to do with their lives whatever they dream of doing if they're willing to work hard toward their goals. That for all of us who gather together, our power is enormous because we represent what the people of California want and together we can persuade the governor that it's time to change what we're doing in our schools. It's time to give our kids a full opportunity to realize their dreams. And it's time to pass and sign AB 420. Thanks very much.